and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Boros Knights in Best of One. We have a pretty basic Boros Knights deck here, just going to be playing a lot of creatures, turning them sideways, hoping that that's enough to win some games. It's just a, it's a pretty fun deck to play, very easy magic if you like just kind of, um, you know, just doing exactly that, you know, getting in some very quick best of one games and trying to uh, smash the opponent and hoping things work out for you. Um, so that's what our deck's all about. You know, we do have a little, we do have like the ability to go wide with Worthy Knights. We have a little bit of card advantage with Acclaimed Contender. Acclaimed Contender, of course, can also find legendary artifacts. So we can uh, dig a little bit for Embercleave to be able to do a lot of damage, of course, with our finishing sword here. But yeah, we're just we're just going to be playing this here in best of one. Um, I'm trying out a couple of castles in here. Maybe those those may not be really that necessary. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, let's play some games. So we're going to be playing like seven games over in ranked with Boros Knights. There's nothing really that fancy about this deck. I know there's, you know, it's, it's, um, we'll get Hawkeye out here. You know, it's a, it's a pretty easy way to play Magic, and I know a lot of people like it, and, and I, I kind of like it too. It's good sometimes just to play a good, fast aggro deck. All right, so tournament grounds. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put back to tournament grounds. You like Aurelia in this deck? Really is a very good card. Well, I'm I'm getting a little worried about putting that third land down to the bottom. If I knew that we were playing against control, I, you know, would have ditched like the Bone Crusher Giant or the Luxodon. I'm a little worried here. Yep, we can't play anything. No, Luxodon's not slow. Especially when you're when you're playing Worthy Knight, like Worthy Knight makes that a lot better. So, got really punished for putting the third land down to the bottom. All we've drawn are cards that cost more than three mana. So we got very punished. Not beating Kenrith, gaining millions of life a turn with Fires of Invention. Would we have won that if we had the third land? Probably not. Like the Clarion was still going to sweep up so much of our board. Yeah, Fires of Fires of Invention can just get out of hand. Uh. All right, we need to draw one land. And then our deck looks really good. Draw one land to be able to play the Acclaim Contender. Get another creature out there. We need to draw one land. I guess we need it to be a red land also. Yay.
I don't know. Am I dead? Or are they dead? I don't know. Why are they... Yeah, grab the Fervent Champion, because if we drew a red land, we could have played Fervent Champion and Ember Cleave. Both. Like, why is my opponent saying good game when this game's not not over? Well now it's over. They have to block first. You have to block and then sacrifice. We had the other Ember Cleave, so it wouldn't, wouldn't have mattered. Like, we were going to win there, but that's what they have to do. No, I think my opponent was saying good game like like I won kind of thing. Not good game as in they won. But it was pretty early. It could have been a misclick. Also. So Tournament Grounds isn't a red mana that lets us cast anything. As far as, you know, uh, Bone Crusher Giant is concerned. And we can't cast the Boulder Rush part either. This one may be tough for us to win, depending on what they got. Goblin. Oh, so this is a full-out goblin deck. Oh, I like that icon of ancestry. Outlaw's Merriment is an awesome card. Love it. I think it's a very, very well-designed card and everything. Um, as far as, like, Outlaw's Merriment for this deck, I think that's a really good sideboard card. I don't think it's it's necessarily what the deck wants to do game one, though. They can have Banneret trade with any of these. But I have to just attack with these because uh, these are the only things that would kill Torbran.
Oh no, I can't whiff. No goblins. So by doing it like this, they have to block Rimrock Knight with Torbran. They can't block one of the two twos. Because then if, if they block a if they block a two-two, they die. Or, you know, one of the two power creatures. One's a two-one, whatever. If I would have just made it like two and three and attacked for four, two, and three, they could they could have killed just my three three. My, or my 3-2 and, and kept Torbran alive. Awesome, Zaxor. Cool. Yes, there will, Bitter Melons. Yep. So they have to chump block the 3-2... And go down to one. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. They get a whole lot of blockers here. That is really good. That was good. They may just have this game now. They definitely have this game now. I thought we had that. I thought we were going to have that. Cranko with Icon of Ancestry. That that Samet Sprint with the haste. Wow, that was that was good. Oh, I guess I guess I could have chump locked in and seen if we drawn Bone Crusher Giant. We did have three Bone Crusher Giants we could have drawn to do the last point of damage. Oh, I guess I could have chumped blocked out. Oh man, what if that one? What if a Bone Crusher Giant was on top? I guess we had a three and, you know, like forty-eight chance, or whatever. I don't know. It's just you know, long day of playing. I just didn't think of that. Of the. Direct damage. Yep, it happens. So we're leading with Venerable Knight. Most likely. I mean, they, they get to go first. We get to see. But we're most likely leading with Venerable Knight because it attacks for two right away where this attacks for one.
This is going to be difficult for us. Trying to beat all the food tokens that can gain a lot of life. I mean, for my opponent, they want to be seeing Wicked Wolves. That's an amazing card against aggro. For us, we need another land and start having these acclaimed contenders. Maybe find like Ember Cleave. Alright, so we'll have Inspiring Veteran next turn, so these creatures don't trade with Cauldron Familiar. And they had their good anti-aggro card that I just talked about, Wicked Wolf. That's going to make our life harder. Oh. I'll just have it all. So we're going to need to find Ember Cleave, but still... Alright, well there's Ember Cleave. But still we're in a rough spot. I don't know. We, we may be able to get this. I don't know. We'll see. We don't have good attacks right now. Yeah, I mean, they can just go up to 15 life here if they want. Early 16 life. Yeah, like they can still go up to 16 life. And have Cauldron Familiar block. And have Wicked Wolf block. And then... Sack Witches... You know, Sack Cauldron Familiar to Witches Oven, get a second food, just crack both foods, gain 6 life. Yeah, the opponent's playing Jun Sacrifice. It's one of the best decks in the format, but their hand is is just the ideal Jun Sacrifice hand. Like everything about it is ideal. That's a good turn for us. We just put 14 power into play. That's a good turn. Candice, don't don't need to ban someone like that, but I I don't think I don't know if that I tried to unban it says that person doesn't exist, so I 
All right, anyway, all right, so there's Mayhem Devil, which can do a lot of damage, but thankfully we had like this Venerate Luxon, got these inspiring veterans at least up to four toughness. That will make their life more difficult, but I think they can still do four damage here. One, two, three, four. They can certainly, yeah, they can definitely do four damage if they want. They have everything covered. Now they have Brontodon to cover Embercleave. Which they have the mana because of Gilded Goose. They just have everything covered. Well, it doesn't get better for me. It's only getting worse. You know, last turn, it, you know, we had we got to put 14 power into play, but it only gets worse. So we're just going to attack. Yeah, this Brontodon... Really mess things up. You know, they can have goose add mana. Yeah, even if they use the food to make the wolf indestructible, they can sack, you know, like Cauldron Familiar and make another food. And then use have that food, use that use that for mana. Yeah, we have to just kind of see what happens. Um, you know, we do have a, like a lot of attackers here, kind of force them to do a whole lot of blocks. Uh, maybe our maybe we can just use the Rimrock Knight in hand to kind of get a surprise lethal. Who who knows? We're, we just kind of have to see what happens here. Yeah, Bronzedon was an Ixalan. Okay. I don't know why they didn't do anything before damage. And you know, like have mayhem double trigger and all that kind of stuff. That was not that was not good for my opponent. I don't know why, you know, they didn't sacrifice the food to keep their thing open or anything. I guess, oh, did they just run out of time? They timed out? Huh. Well, I guess that's a way for it to go well for us. So now with Ember Cleave, we should have this. It looks like we're going to be able to untap with all four creatures so we'll have the four attackers to be able to have the umber cleave cost two mana again yeah my my opponent just took too long trying to make their decisions with the blocks and everything it wasn't an easy combat step that was a difficult combat step
All right, two and two. I was not expecting to win that, but I think I think that we got generously helped. Yeah, we did exactly though. <laughs> So Rex, you're saying that I need to make the the channel points, all the rewards cost more. Uh oh, looks like same matchup. Looks like same matchup. Good night, Arrow. Same start again. Goose into trail of crumbs on the play. My hand's not nearly as good as it was last game. You know, last game we had all those lords. Not so much this game. There's no clock in best of one, so we can't, like, so it's not like our opponent's going to run out of time. But they have to make their decisions in that clock thing, like how we saw that last game. So I need to find the, I want to find the two drops. I want to find the Lord and the Worthy Knight. Those are the two cards that I want to be finding. Obviously, Embercleave would be fine, but we don't, we don't have the double red for Embercleave right now. I'd rather find the other cards, I think. Why do you think I, oh, I missed, oh, because I, I should have attacked with the Fervent Champion for one. Last turn, because of that first strike. Our last two opponents are playing very slow. There goes all the red mana that we need for Embercleave. So, yeah, we're doing best of one for Monday. Best of one day Monday. Um, I think I can change the highlight color in, like, my settings somewhere. We got Dance and Hawkeye.
Nice, Velvet. Enjoy it. Good night, Candace. Jeez. It's a good anti aggro deck, especially when they draw multiple Wicked Wolves and Master Girl. And then just, you know, Love Struck Beast hard to get through also. We didn't have much of a chance that game. All right, we got Worthy Knight. Could see waiting till after Could see waiting until after uh, we play Worthy Knight for the Fervent Champion. Okay. Basically I didn't want my opponent to just, you know, like shock the Worthy Knight and then it attack me for two when I was attacking for one with the Fervent Champion. I didn't think attacking, me attacking for one, them attacking back for two is a good trade. Yeah, Steve-O, yeah, I, yeah, um, I did that over Discord. I, uh, said that on, on Discord in the, the sub part of di the sub channel for Discord and, and people sent in donation decks. And so, yeah, we did those last week. Oh, I should I should just attack with the Venerate Luxon too. Hmm, maybe not. Rex, try highlighting your message now. 
I just changed the yeah, I just changed the highlighted message to two thousand instead of two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I said he had too many, too many channel points. crazy all right so there we go that's a win just the smaller one ones could not handle our bigger knights claimed contender put in good work <laughs> do i play cinder vines um not too much in standard, honestly. I don't really play too much Cinder Vines in standard. <laughs> Titus, get in there. So yeah, subscribers get twice as many channel points also. Okay, I don't really know why I kept this hand. We'll kind of see how it how it does. It may not do that well. We look kind of like a normal Boros deck over here right now. Yeah, I think the Mastery Pass is like 3,000 gems, maybe 3,500 gems, maybe 3,500 gems. I think that's a, the Mastery Pass that's a Ben. Yuck. Build a Grixis Fires list focused on abusing spells with Kicker. Okay. And Historic, he's in Kicker. Because you can still cast your spell for free and then use your mana to, to use the kicker thing. That's pretty cool. My opponent had a really good hand. Well, if they just have lands and nothing else, we can stabilize. Yeah, that's fine. We can stabilize. <clears throat> so, of course, my, my plan is to use the... Ugh, what a killer. What a killer, what a draw. Well, I mean, the game's over, but I'll show them what I was gonna be doing. Uh, so I was gonna just go like Ember Cleave here, like whenever they attacked with the Love Struck Beast. Like that was my plan. Like if they just attacked with Love Struck Beast again, I was gonna be able to eat it with, with Ember Cleaving like that. It was going to be awesome. But 
But that Domery's ambush was perfect. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, Rex. Um, I don't think there's any specific best best of one deck. I don't think there really is one. But anyway, there's Boros Knights. So you can see the... Uh, you know, you can see the power sometimes, you know, we, we got to do get some really large creatures out there and run people over, but <clears throat> if we're behind, our deck's not doing as well. And when our opponent's playing sweepers, you know, like when they have, you know, Deafening Clarion into just into uh, Fires of Invention, Kenrith, you know, like that's really hard for us to, to deal with. I could sort of, one thing that I could see is honestly the, the Bonecrusher Giants were like, okay, but they really weren't that good. And I don't think that I don't really know if Bone Crusher Giants really what our deck's about. I feel like we could use just some unbreakable formations. I think I I want a couple unbreakable formations, maybe over a couple Bone Crusher Giants. Honestly, maybe also just going just the full four unbreakable formations. Honestly, as we saw, like the we saw the power of unbreakable formation with the mono white formation deck, and I think that this is just kind of like that same kind of deck. I feel like this that. Unbreakable Formation could just be more powerful in this deck than um, the Bone Crusher Giant was. I could definitely see that. That's something to think about. Um, so those of y'all watched on YouTube, if you're playing Boros Knights later on, let me know how Unbreakable Formation goes for you. And also, just in the comments, let me know, what do you like more? Do you like Bone Crusher Giant or Unbreakable Formation? Or do you like a split, you know, like two and two? Or three of one, one of the other. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, yeah, because the giant's not a knight, so you can't find it with a claim contender. It doesn't trigger worthy knight. But yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think about with those uh, those slots there. Um, but anyway, that's that's Boros Knights in at best of one, our last best of one day Monday deck. Hope you all enjoyed all the decks today. Of course, um, those of y'all in Twitch chat. Check out all the replays there on the YouTube channel that I just put a link to in the chat there. And those of y'all on YouTube, hope you uh, check out the Patreon page also if you'd like to help support over there. Um, yeah, Rakdos. Yeah, you get yeah you get the Black Cat Castle with Rakdos going there. I don't like Mardu. Mardu, I think, is the mana is too difficult. I don't like Mardu. I like going either Rakdos or Boros. You can kind of go, um, you know, like they're... They're both good. Um, Rakdos may be a little better, but they both they're similar decks. There. All right, that's it here for Boros Knights. So those of you on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.